Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. This is Football Manager 20 climbing the ladder. We're at F uh, we're at Lebendorf. Uh, this is episode 12 of our journeyman save. So taking a look uh, after last episode with the wins, uh, we had a 2-2 draw with BW Lens, Somner and Kosman with first half goals and Aller Heiligen. God, Aller Heiligen. Aller Heiligen. A 1-1 draw, Dreesen with an early goal. They got one back late uh, with about 11 minutes left in the match to equalize. Uh, we just went 3-1 and one in friendlies. Uh, St. Gallen from Switzerland took care of us 5-1. Uh, otherwise, we played pretty well. So transfer window today. We are uh, in late February. We've gone through our winter break. So let's take a look at our transfers. The one incoming player you already knew about, uh, we have loaned out a bunch of players, and then we have decided to sell Alexander Kosman for $425,000. He is Austrian, didn't really want to get rid of him, but he has no finishing ability, and he's not really good enough to play center back, so I figured I would make some money on him. So we make... Uh, the 425, uh, it's a, it's about 50,000 less than his 475 release clause. We had gotten an offer for like 400,000, and I said, eh, let's see if we can sell him for 425, and immediately got a bid for him. So we moved him on. That lets us put in the strikers that we really want. Uh, coming in, we did pick up Dennis Whitman from LASK Lens for 245. So we pick up a young 21-year-old Austrian center back and he he should slot right in. He should become one of our two starting center backs. So that is what I am expecting. Uh, we are playing Kappenberger and Amstetten today in league matches and coming out of the break, we are top of the table on equal footing with 31 points so very happy with that the board did come in during the winter break and uh, give me a two-year contract extension they were not offering a pay raise so i i had to push for it uh i'm at 390,000 a year i think i asked for 430 and they said no they went back to uh 390 and i think i got it at 403 so i got a slight raise not a whole lot um but uh, anyway uh, that keeps us in the job for at least another two seasons, barring any move onto greener pastures, if and when that happens. And it will happen because this is a journeyman save, right? <laughs> All right, we're at home. We are favored. So let's roll out our home tactic. Let's go ahead and pick our guidelines and Sturm. We are one player short. Most of that's due to fitness, it appears. Gilroy is on 89%. I'm going to put him in. Hrustic's going to get the start. Uh, Sommer and Weigel now the go-to striker up top. Bierbauer should be our number two guy. Although Clark, I would like to get him some match time as well and see what he can do. He's got pace. He's got decent finishing. But I believe he's definitely uh, fourth on the depth chart. But that is okay. Uh, we did look at a few players. Couldn't get uh, couldn't get the purchase price down low enough to afford them. So we will have to wait on those guys for next year. I am scouting all the Austrian national teams, all the younger teams. Ooh, some snow on the ground. I think that graphic needs to be worked on. All right, pick up where you left off, and let's get to it. It looks like fog or like low-lying clouds. That doesn't look like snow. That's just me. Just me. All right, we get the first shot, and it is on target. Let's go with get creative. The uh, assistant manager had uh, scheduled a... Oh, Weigel! Ah... Uh, Knocked down by Walter, and then the rebound shot goes right into his hands. Unlucky. The assistant manager had scheduled a friendly between this match and the next match. Uh, they're, they're only a few days apart. Stan Dreesen 
puts the header in. Whitman with the assist off the corner, and we are up one nothing in the 26th minute. Excellent going, boys. We're controlling the game, 60 to 40 on possession. They've managed one shot. We are doing well. Let's praise them for the final 10 minutes. Krustic brings it down in the box. He takes a shot, and it goes wide of the mark. Hmm. We'll be happy going in 1-0 at half. They've gotten a couple more shots, narrow that margin a little bit. And no card, so that's good. Polisteris picks up a yellow. Heinrich deep into the box. Vigo puts it in, and that is his sixth of the season. Tell you what, let's make an early sub there for Polisteris. Uh, I am going to drop, yeah, I'm going to drop Sturm back to there. And then we will bring Petrov into the central mid. I did try those last two matches I did, and a couple of the friendlies. I did put, uh, put him in. And, yeah, I'd like to have them both in, Sturm and Petrov. I just don't know that that's going to be the best route. Oh, there it is, a little bounce around, and Fabian Sturm finds the goal, his second of the season. Got the assist from Johans Weigel, and we are up 3-0 and making a rout of things. And no sooner do I say that than David Beckham bends it in. Oh, wait, that wasn't Beckham? Oh, that's every player in Football Manager 20 that can bend it like Beckham now. Nice. Headed out. Puts us in some safe position for a moment. Well, I'd certainly like to get a turnover there or an end of highlight. Good job. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. Dreesen, we've got some fitness issues. Let's bring Blazik on for him. Just, you know, break these guys in a little slow coming back from uh, the winter break. All right, some good ball movement up across the midline to Hrustic. Petrov. They play a deep ball. Sturm picks up the header back into the attack zone. Grima lays it into Weigel. And there's a scrum, but Walter comes out with it, makes the save. All right, and Alta Baumer. Defensive. I don't have anybody else that can play back there, do I? Son of a bitch. Do I have a defensive mid? I don't. Actually, I could bring... Let's move Whitman outside. Sturm inside. And then Petrov to defensive mid. And then we bring in Forster into the central mid. There we go. A little bit of uh, tetris -y action going on there, trying to get to the, to the finish. Let's give them some praise down the stretch here. They go short. There's a cross in. Dangerous ball. Oh, good block. That's not good, but a great save. Fitzpatrick. There was a young Austri Austrian keeper I wanted to go after, but they wanted much more money than I could uh, I could afford. Well, that's poked away. Four minutes of stoppage time. And we're going to coast in with a 3-0 victory. Dreesen, Weigel, and Sturm with the goals. 16 shots, 10 on target. Three chances created. So three created and three in the net. That is good. We'll give them some praise there. All right, and that keeps us atop the table. Uh, Whitman makes his debut. Dreesen is stellar. Of course you were. Can't wait to see it. Good job. All right, our unbeaten run is up to 10, so that is good. 
We'll see you guys back for the next match here in just a second. So Malachik, Matt Sharpness, not quite there, but he's coming back from that grain, grain, groin injury. A grain injury. I ate too much oatmeal. Blew my intestines out. I don't know. All right, we're home. We're favorite. They are woeful. All right. Um, let's see. I wonder. I want to give. I want to give Callum Phillips a start. Callum. Callum. Calvin Phillips. I'm thinking Calvin Phillips from, from Leeds. I want to give Callum Clark a start. Let's put him alongside Weigel or what? Yeah, Weigel, and that will put um, Sommer on the bench. And then I think I want to go ahead and try Petrov and Sturm together here. Marking eight. Yeah, Sturm's the better defender, so we'll put him back at the uh, ball-winning and defensive mid position. Uh, Malachik's fitness is a concern. Who do I have? Can Forster play out there? Yeah, his match fitness is shit. What about if I put Forster on for Beer Bauer? Yeah, let's do that. A lot of fitness issues, but, you know, coming back from a five or six week break to be expected i suppose all right we are in the red kits they are in the Leeds united white you know what my druthers are for kits <laughs> oh nice first touch and heinrich that was not called a foul holy crap <laughs> all right gilroy oh he lumps it Oh, good clearance. Right to Grima, though. He's into the box. And he takes the shot, and it just goes wide. Unlucky shot there, guys. Come on. Looks like we're controlling the ball well. Good ball placement. Oh, Gilroy with a nice break inside. He's into space. He takes a touch. And, oh, it was almost an own goal. All right, let's, uh, let's get creative. We pick up a yellow. The ball's played in. Well, Weigel holds it up. Good job. Good control by him, actually. Oh, Petrov. Good job getting his head up there. Gilroy. And he has to turn. Looks like he can't do anything with his left foot. Fair enough. Gilroy with the corner. Cleared out pretty easily. Sturm. It's in. And Callum Clark, what a powerful header. Uh, he just came charging in from the spot and drilled that into the net. That was a brilliant finish. Sturm, nice cross. And Callum Clark right here. Boom. Just put it on him. 1-0 advantage. Whitman plays it in. Back post. Sturm looking for another header. He's looking dangerous, huh? I like Sturm. He was a good signing, but, you know, it's really screwed up that midfield partnership that we had built last season. Putting, putting Petrov, who was arguably our best player, on the bench. Weigel plays it through, and he slides it past the keeper. Oh, that was nice. He waited for the keeper to commit and just played it under his right arm. He was going down, tried to make himself big, not quite good enough. Weigel with the goal. Great job, and we're up 2-0. Uh, let's praise for the final 10. Oh, can we get a set-piece goal? Sturm. And I don't know what happened there. Crossbar. Now, it must have been a save because it goes back out for a corner. Cleared out. Oh, big clearance. Eckert, he's on a big counter by himself. 
looking for some support. He finds some people making a late run. Gives our defense time to get back, so we were a little lucky there. Pressure's on. They're marking tight. There you go. There you go. 13 shots to one. Don't let them steal one here. They haven't earned it. No, he just spun our guy around. Pushing them out a little bit. They're looking for a break in our defense. I just don't want to see a foul. Oh, there's a nice through ball. Eckert goes wide. He got a little lucky there. Final minute. Can we find one? I think that was a save. That's going to set us up with another corner. There we are. Gilroy plays it in. Weigel gets to the ball. Out to Dreesen. And nothing happens. Would have liked a little more than that. But, you know, 2 nothing at the break. Excellent efforts if you can avoid another booking. And everybody is playing a 6-8 or better with the exception of Malachik. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull him off. He's played a half and he's on a yellow. Uh, let's see. Let's put, uh, I'm going to put Blazik out there. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I think Blazik's the guy that I want. But Altabaumer. Let's put him out there. He's a bit more of a liability, but we're up two, so we could probably afford that. All right, let's uh, let's encourage him. Whitman, oh, taken down in the box. That was brutal. Who's taking this? Should be Petrov, I would think. Yep, there he is. The goal scorer extraordinaire from the penalty spot. His fourth of the season. I think all of them are penalties, to be fair. And he had he had 10 goals last year. He was in double digits, so good job to him. All right. Um, Malachik, we've got fitness with him. Do I move? I'm going to move Dreesen. No, I'm not. I'm going to move Whitman outside. He can play all three. And then Malachik, I'm going to bring Blazik on. Well, do I want to do that? I like Blazik. Hold on. I can move Sturm back. He's, he's got the ability to be a center back. But he's on 71. I wouldn't mind pulling him out at some point. But if I do that, I could bring Polisteris on. And then I still have Blazik later. Let's do that. We'll bring Polisteris on. There we go. All right. And now we'll have a little bit of game action with Petrov and Polisteris in that midfield. And then we can see if, if we really see uh, Altabaumer. Slight injury with a twisted knee. Uh, all right. That's going to force our hand there. So we're going to bring Blazik on. On the outside there. All right. He gets it up. That was a bad ball over the top. A uh, big through ball. And our keeper had no chance. Kellyan Pasquale. Eighth goal of the season for Amstetten. And they've narrowed it to 3-1. All right. We are going to make that sub. Blazik's going to be in. Now I can't pull Sturm off, which sucks. And they have got another highlight. All right, we get the ball. Oh, Clark. Clark's through. He's got a two-on-one. Play it across. Play it across. No, don't do that. Oh, we could have had a freaking empty netter, man. Greedy son of a biscuit. All right, that was no bueno. Good control there. Blazik intercepts. Finds Sturm. Weigel's taken down hard. They don't call the foul. What the hell? 
Hello? <laughs> there was no foul there? Are you kidding me? I mean, he did like a triple cartwheel. If that wasn't a foul, that was definitely Neymar-esque. And Michael Wisniewski, he of the one eye, gets his first goal. All right. Um, let's do some time wasting. We're going to drop pretty severely. All right, and I am going to give a tighten up shout. All right, we hold on for the win. Much closer than it should have been. Clark, Weigel, and Petrov with the penalty. They pick up two goals in the final 10 minutes to make it close. And we're three up on Team Furwine. Uh, after 17 games, I feel pretty good about where we're at. I did hit re record again, yeah? Yeah, we're recording. Good deal. Uh, we don't, we can't tell them nothing. That was a real Jekyll and Hyde. All right, so Blazik is stressed. Everybody else was motivated. If you only have one person that's mad at you after a team talk, you're probably doing okay. <laughs> All right, he's out three to six days. Uh, Vigel with a goal and two dribbles. So we're going to tell him he was superb. And we have a rearrangement. Why? Because of Lafnitz and Lustenau. So we moved. Oh, they had they had a two-day gap. Yet we were scheduling a friendly with four with three days between matches, right? Hello. All right, well, let's see. So another double win episode. So give us a thumbs up for that. Three goals in each game. That's great. And I think, and I did come back a little early. I wanted to come back after the transfer window. Plus, I hadn't recorded in a few days. I've been really gaga over this new game I'm playing. Uh, so I do have a new save, uh, Starters Order 7, a horse racing simulation. So uh, we're, we're playing that a lot. Uh, so I hadn't played this in a while. Um, in fact, since I had recorded last episode, so I had to sit down today and crank out some games. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get ahead. Let's come back for, I think Furwine and Lens is still a good target game uh, to see if we can make some distance between us and the pack uh, or, you know, solidify our run for the top four. Um Promotion would be nice, yeah? Maybe? Maybe? We can go up, right? This isn't the highest league here, I don't think. No, we can go into the tip three and be with Red Bull Salzburg and Austria Wein and a Rapid Wein. Oh, some big teams there. That's the top Austrian league. Okay, so that's good. I would not mind uh, promotion. That would be great. Up to the number 10 league from the number 37. We would have some work to do, but, you know. But it would be good. It would be good for the old resume, for the CV, right? And we're getting near the end of the season. I think this is going to be a crucial pair of matchups to see if we have a shot at promotion. So uh, I'll play two off camera. We'll come back for the home and away uh, with some of the top teams in the league. Next episode, hope you guys come back for that. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.